we are going to talk about how we could convert from base 10 to base R, which we already know. Whenever I say base R for this at least class, we are interested on 2, 8, and 16. Okay. So let us see how we could do that. We start actually to explain that with one example. So suppose we actually have one number which is in base 10. So suppose you have 41 that is in base 10 and you want to convert that to the R which is R for this example is base 2. You want to actually learn how you could convert from base 10 to R but for this specific case 10 to 2. So all other is same if you actually learn one you could actually do for any other bases that you have. The method is same for both of them. So this is how you could actually have that actually conversion. So first, you actually say, okay, I'm going to, what I actually write here. So we say, okay, if first step is you divide whatever you have here, which is 41, divided by the base that you want to move, which is here is two. So that means you say 41 divided by two. So definitely when you have any division, definitely you will get some quotient and one remainder. So depend on which method you learn. So maybe what you actually know is different with the notation that I'm writing here, that's fine. But definitely if you do that division, so you will actually get one remainder which is here is one right i actually put the r equal one and definitely you get actually one equation which is i say q here okay so this is actually first step then you check these actually quotient that you have here if that is smaller than base that you want to go which is here is two you need to actually continue that division so that means again you say this time 20 divided by two, okay? So again, 20 divided by two, you get actually 10 here, you have 20 here. So this time the remainder would be zero and your quotient is 10, right? So again, you check this quotient with this base that you want to move, which is two here. It is, it, still it is greater than two you actually continue your division. Again, you say 10 divided by two. So 10 divided by two, you have five here, 10 here, remainder is actually is a zero. So the quotient is here five. Again, you compare this with the base you want to move, which is two, it is greater, you keep going. You keep going until you get actually smaller number than this base. So five is greater than two, you keep going the division by two, you say actually two, two by two, you have four. Again, if you divide five by two, you get actually one as a remainder and two as a quotient. So again, these two is should be smaller. So here it still is equal. Whenever that's equal, you still continue. Should be smaller, then we stop. So again, this is actually bigger. Again, I continue to divide it by two. You have one here, so you have two here. Again, you have zero as a remainder, and one is the quotient. So now you check this with the base. So again, this time it is smaller, okay? So that means that's actually the time that you need to actually stop, okay? So you say, okay, here I'm stop, and I'm done with that. So how you could get that number? So here I actually show you. You say, okay, I take the last quotient, which is this one, and all other remainder that I got here. So see, like this. So the last quotient and all other remainder. So you take that numbers. I'm going to write that, okay? So that means 
that is that means 41 in base 10 equal to which number in 2 so you just see here take the last quotient which is 1 and all other remainder which is 0 1 here i actually take 0 1 so again 2 0 so you have 2 0 which is this and this and the last one again is 1 okay so that means you could say, okay, 41 in base 10 will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 in base 2, okay? So this is what we call the division method, right? So again, it's right for convert from base 10 to any basis. If you want to move to base 8, it is the same story, but division here is by 2. If you want to have 8, the, all these two change to the 8 okay if you want to have 16 all these division actually change to the 16 so that means the same method so if i give you any number in base 10 with this method you are able to convert that to base r which is in the general case r could be 2 8 and 16. so any question okay so let's do actually have some more example, which is actually give a better idea of what I'm talking here, okay? So let you move to the next example. So which is whatever we had was the example 1.1 1, 1 .1 in page seven, which is convert 41 to base two. So we are doing actually some more example from the next page. So the next example here is one, 53 okay so that is in base 10 so the question is what is that number in base 8 okay so again so far you actually learned two methods right number one you know from last class how we could move from base r to 10 so today, how I could move to from 10 to R? So you check, so this is what we learned today. So that means you need to use the division, right? So let I give you a few minutes, you actually work on that, okay? So let to give you one minute and you start to see, could you do the same method that you learn and get the answer or not? So definitely, if you follow the same rule that I mentioned, you say, okay, one, five, three, I need to divide it by eight, right? In the previous one, you want to move to two, you would be divided by two. Here, you want to move to eight, you divide by eight. So 153 divided by eight. So you could actually use any method to get this so whatever whatever here is important it should be 153 divided by 8 will have one quotient one remainder you need that you could actually get that with any method okay so we learn in this way we say okay you want yeah you see if you use the calculator you have a problem okay yeah you need to run that but it is not actually something that you need a calculator right so 1, 8, you actually have 1, 8 here. You actually subtract with, this is 7. So you actually got these here, which is 73. So then you say 73 divided by 8, which is 9. So 9 times actually 8 is 72. This is how I learn in, I don't know, elementary school or high school. I don't know. But maybe you actually learn in a different way. So... What is important, which any way that you learn to divide these two number, which is you already know in the high school probably. So you could use with any method, but what is important for us, definitely you got one Q, one remainder, okay? So we should get exactly the same thing, okay? So the method use, I use, do that by hand. So this is what I learned in my high school, so maybe your method is the different okay that's fine but definitely with both any method that you go you actually get one r and q which is definitely is the same thing right so 
Then you check your quotient, which is 19, again, greater than 8. So you keep going, okay? You say, okay, again, divided by 8, okay? So you have actually here two times, so that's actually 16. You got actually 3 here. So again, same story. Any method, you just say 8, 19 divided by 8. This is Q, this is R, okay? This is what we need to do. So you tell me, I need to stop here or I need to keep going? Type on the chat box. I need to stop or keep going? Okay, you say that I write here in the other way, okay? So you need to do this, 153 divided by 8, okay? No matter which way you are going to get, it gives you a one R, one Q, okay? So the R here is one, and Q is 90. This is what you need to do, okay? So this is actually how I learn. So that's the reason I, I go in this method. I don't want to explain that here, because my guess is whatever you are learning, because I didn't had my high school here in United States, the way that I learn definitely will be the different what, what you learn here, okay? So don't actually focus on how I get these two numbers. You actually consider that's like this, 153 divided by eight, any method that you definitely know how you could do that, right? So with any method, you just get the reminder and the quotient, you just need that two numbers, which I have here, 19 and one, okay? So no, no matter which method you are getting these R and Q, it should be fine. I don't know, is this your question or? That's fine? Okay. So yeah, even if you want to actually get better idea, I don't want to confuse with these just method that I use. So the next one, see, then you use the next one, which is you just check the Q with the base 19 is greater than 8 you keep going okay you need to say 19 divided by 8 maybe i'm writing the other version on the right side so again this division have one r one q no matter how you could calculate that's fine okay but definitely you get one r and q so it's q is actually two it's r is three okay so now question is, this is exactly what you have here, okay? Maybe it's, maybe this is better actually notation to understand that. So then question is, do I need to stop here or I need to keep going? You tell me. You stop there, definitely. You check the quotient that you got. Compare that with the base you want to move. Whenever that is smaller, that's the time you need to stop, okay? You stop here, you say, okay, you need to stop the division and see how, how I'm writing this. Take the last, actually, the quotient and the all other remainder. So, so that means it should be two, three, one, okay? Two, three, one. So if, if you do this method, you say, okay, last quotient, so which is you should take two, I'm writing here, okay? So the last Q is two, and yeah, for some reason, somehow stop here. Yeah, so last Q and all other remainder. So you should have two, three. So you write actually three, one, so two, three, one will be in this number in base actually eight, okay? Any question? Is it clear what I'm doing here? Okay. So as I mentioned in our live, whenever you have question, no, no problem, you could actually stop me anytime that you want, okay? So, let to see if we could find any other examples. Mm, what we did, do, do we, the previous one was base two or, yeah, we did one 10 to two, and this one is 10 to eight. So again, this is the same. If you want to move any other R, which is we had one example for two and eight, you could do the same thing for 16. 
The only difference here, division will be all of them will be divided by 16, right? Same thing here. If you want to move to the 16, the all these division will be divided by 16. Okay, the method is same. Thank you.